I hear you. And, 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 and you know, that's one of the things that interests me the most is uh, not, not only the, the live performance part of it, which I love. Like, that's just one of the ultimate highs for me is, is the performance, but I get, I get the same rush from creating the music. And um, from knowing, okay, I'm going to write a song or, or we need to do an album or something, right? And it's like, you know, at the beginning of that day, you have nothing written. There's nothing in front of you, right? And by the end of that day, you know that you're going to have like a name press or something. And it's something that I get to touch. Oh, <laughs> 
the code away for six months and come back with riffs. Mm-hmm. And you send them to the drummer yep. who writes the lyrics, yep. and then he sends them back to you. Yep. And it's this process, but then you go into the studio and something else gets added in there by coincidence. Mm-hmm. And it's just like comedy is in a way. Yep. It's taking two or three variables, figuring them out for what they are, putting them together, and then at the end, they all come out the same way. I mean, it's, yep. music is always, like I said, I would, I would have done the musician rap, but it was such a fucking hell on wheels. I would have said my guitar eight times. And when the cops are looking for you, stop that with the <laughs> On top of all that, you guys are now in the studio. There's something that has to... It's very true, very true. I see it in all the documentaries and the 50 years I've been listening to music. That's something I've always thought about.
but so that it does surprise you sometimes but for the most part you know when we're in there we're always kind of just looking at each other going yeah this fucker has this to look this is the one it's, it's it's really hard to, to describe it, but it's this kind of it's this electricity you feel with it, this magic you feel with, with you know um, when you've recorded it and you're listening back to it that you know it's gonna fucking do something. I don't doubt that. They were pushing all three things on us, still. The eight track, the cassette, mm -hmm. and the fucking album. At the same time? At the same time. The eight track was getting absolved, but the cassette was still coming on strong with the album. So yeah, yeah. you could buy a cassette for your car, but that wasn't the same as having mm -hmm. the experience. Yeah. That's the fucking experience. Dream. I cut the habit but it keeps on letting me swing A truth seeking wordsmith with anxious tension Living off the sad bastard pension Give a man a mask and he'll tell you the truth I'm a wannabe rapper with a troubled past The cyclical taste of the grapes of wrath Taste the fruit of your labour, lick the juice from the cloth I time travel to the future with a cling on help He stunned me with a ray gun and made me yelp 2043 was full of alien beings The sort of creatures that lurk beneath the sea There was 20 foot scumbags, they were half reptile They had knives for fingers and sulkies made of gold Selling benzos, by the truck load Don't take the brown, I said I woke up in the road Limerick City is a space dimension Smoking angel dust in Colbert Station 5,000 light years out the gap Sherman, it's still home, I don't need no map Oh look, and he fits his back Willie Tree Toes has 17 hands Shrug and juice delusions got me tripping with confusion Lucid dreaming with my demons stuck to the bed again Shrug and juice delusions got me tripping with confusion Lucid dreaming with my demons stuck to the bed again <laughs> You can scratch them tapes, the, the tape can come out. How do you ruin other than heat? Can you ruin an album? It melts. So, that, so that's the only way it can get ruined. Like, you're not gonna it scratch melts. it or... Let's say if you put it somewhere, it bends. Something like what I'm doing right there, that's not good. Interstellar mind travel, feel your thoughts unravel. Kick back and deal with the dose. <laughs> Interstellar mind travel, feel your thoughts unravel Kick back and deal with the dose Interstellar mind travel, feel your thoughts unravel Kick back and deal with the dose Wow! Wow! You know, but no, no, there's people who are Dickin, wickedy, biggity about their own. I don't blame them, that's how it be Wickedy, biggity, biggity, cubbies See, if I knew what I knew now I would I would have saved everything I would have had millions I had all that shit originally With the lyrics, the fucking The devil in you and those Yeah, oh, fuck yeah, yeah. Facebook and they want to do this and they want to do that and they want to do this and 
I understand what you want to do, but you going on Twitter and Facebook ain't the answer. You got to go do it, you know? Now that's the, the, the journey I think is one of the most beautiful things, man, that a lot of people don't know, don't appreciate, and don't get and will never get. And it's what got you to where you're at right now, man. The twists and turns and the you thinking, okay, well I'm gonna try this or I'm gonna try that and it not going the way you thought but then this other thing happened and that I always find interesting
you know, I, I was into music because my parents always had it playing in the house, and, and um, but I'd never heard anything like that. So this is 75, and so he brings it over and he shows it to me, and I'm like, I remember asking him if they were superheroes because I was looking at the fucking cover, and he goes, Ah, they're fucking rock band, check it out. And so he drops a needle on the record. First song, Deuce comes on, and dude, and I'm looking now. It's a double live album with the booklet. The, all their live picture and shit, shit. Yeah. and I literally, man, my life just completely turned upside down at that moment, and I was like, fuck, dude, like, I still get chills, I talk a little bit, dude, dude and, and I remember telling my cousin, I was like, what's that, who's that, and he's like, oh, that's Ace, that's a music guitar player, and I was like, that's what I'm gonna do, man. Ten jokes. All right. I know there's two of them in there that are gonna get me somewhere. Okay. Uh-huh. The one that I'm begging on to get me somewhere. That one duds three times. <laughs> but the one that was okay really gets a good laugh, and I got something to go with. Yeah. I always knew it. I just didn't really focus on it. I focused yeah. on that one because I was. I think in the studio after you laid your eight tracks down, you know what I'm saying, and you play it, you know if there's magic. Or you know if there's no magic. That's what it's always a bitch sure. for me. There's too many musicians who are they're such perfectionists that they couldn't even keep their band together. Mm-hmm. They annoy everybody. Keep striving, keep pushing, keep working. 